Godzilla. Yes. Zilla, bitch. Godzilla. No, that's my. Okay, so what's up? I'm finally back here in New York City. I love coming back home. But when I'm home, I can't help but want to go back to where I live, which is Atlanta, Georgia. And you know what? I get down a little bit. I'm not even going to front you. I get down a whole lot. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice on how to make sure you have a good day, even when you're down. And what I do to make sure that I have a good day and I'm feeling a little down, feeling a little homesick, even though I'm home, is I pretend that everything that happens to me and every person that I interact with just has my best interest at heart. Why? Because the universe wants me to be the greatest of all time. And if you tap into that energy, it'll happen. I fully believe that. And today, I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm interviewing my guy, O'Shea Jackson. I'm screening his new movie, Long Shot, for a bunch of dope influencers here in New York City. And uh, it doesn't get better than that. Your boy, Zilla Valentine. Fresh. Let's go. Go. Thank you very much. My pleasure. We did not plan to have the same thing on. I'm good. Yeah, but my, yeah. You know, my tracks is killing. You got on some Lakers shoes, though. Got these in the Yeah, they do like shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot LeBron played me out. You forgot? I did. That's a stop. I forgot LeBron. He's not on the playoffs, so, you know, got home. You, you, you know, what, you a Nets fan all of a sudden? What's, uh, what's going on with that? I'm a Nets fan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how I know you should be talking. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> But yo, Long Shot was really, really good. Did you have to audition for this movie? I have to audition for every movie, no, man. I'm still new. They okay. don't care. They don't care. I got to audition for everything. And uh, yeah, had to knock it out. Seth came in. He brought his dog. That was weird. Really? You know, I was you know, I had never been to an audition where somebody brought their dog. So I, I felt like it was chill after that. Yeah. And uh, he asked me straight up, do you want to bring the script into the room? I said, no, I'm trying to impress you. You know, I'm trying to get the part. And uh, it helped. I had it, had, uh, you know, all the way down. Yeah, what's up? Was he throwing out little one-liners for you to hit off the park? Uh, he got a team of writers who are like studying you and they're paying attention and they're seeing, you know, how your timing is and, and you know, the way that you joke. And they try to throw stuff at you that are kind of modeled around you. So it's all about you as an actor, like being able to, to on your feet, you know, have your tools sharp and be ready to to make it your own, make it real. That's what's up, that's what's up. Uh, sidebar, I interviewed Henry Cavill, Superman, and he has a giant Superman-sized dog, and it was just in the fucking room. Yeah, I'm seeing on the camera, bro, I'm like, yeah, chill out. You, you know, you gotta do shit like this, you know, while yeah. you're talking to people, nah. I like dogs, I like my dogs, I don't like other people's dogs. That's yeah, but like, like, if I brought a fucking dog into my audition, they'd be like, yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah, what you yeah. doing? Yeah. You burst onto the scene with straight out of time. <laughs> yeah. Classic. It's cool. What, what was that whole whirlwind for you? Like, when the, the news came out that Ice Cube's son was going to play him in a movie, just the news, before the movie came out, what did your friends say? Like, what, what was your nerves like at that point? Well, I, you know, straight out of Compton happened during my second year of college. 
Pops comes down, he's like, yo, they're taking the NWA movie serious. And my first reaction was like, that's cool, Dad. You know, I'm happy for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, he was, uh, he said, in a perfect world, you'll play me. And I, you know, the news. So it was like, either I don't take the part and everybody calls me stupid, or I try to get the part and don't get it and everybody called me stupid or we could just <laughs> knock it out the park yeah. so it was really no choice and i didn't do it to get into acting i did it to be the person to solidify you know to to put other eyes on my family right. you know, to to just cement it in legacy that is far greater than we could have ever thought and wow. to be to have it in our hands you know i couldn't let some guy do it yeah. you know yeah. so i had to go through the auditioning process for over two years still the longest auditioning process i've ever had and in those two years they gave me you know i got skills i i, I was taught by aaron spicer who works with will he worked with will smith he works with will 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 he works with he yeah. worked with Titans, so it's yeah. like, you know, that's my sensei. That's what's up, that's what's up. So now you were involved with it with, with all the directors, because that movie had multiple directors attached to it. Were what, you, SOC? Uh, Shannon Come here. Yeah, well, you know, we, the, the final director, Gary Gray, is who got me my my guy. You know, he got me Aaron. He made sure that I was put in the right hands, and, you know, Gary Gray had a vision for that movie that... You know, you saw it, it, it was just on another level. And my, my father always rewards the prepared man. And Gary was the prepared man. Nice, nice. It was, it was perfect. It, it, it was a history-making movie. Both records, and I'm, I'm glad I got to be a part of it. Not to be a part of it, I got to see it. Hey, we all was in it. Yeah, yeah. But you worked, did you get to work a little bit with John Sings? No, he was attached to it for a little bit. John, uh, like a piece of John. John, I never got to, to work with John, but I always got to, you know, I've gotten to speak with John. I've been in the editing room with John before. You know, growing up, you know, John was around the house. Yeah. You know, we owe so much to John Singleton with, you know, my dad was Ice Cube and then some film student from USC is like, yo, you know, I'm gonna put you in a movie. Da -da 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 -da. My dad was, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then the bond that they developed during Boys in the Hood and, you know, just throughout life, John wrote, my letter of recommendation to USC. Wow. So it's like, you know, he's, a, he's an extension of the family. So it's, you know, it's heavy times in the Jackson house. I'm so sorry for you guys as well. I appreciate you. Speaking of that, you, you had to be on a bunch of movie sets growing up. How did that sort of fuel what you're doing now for me? I lived on sets. Like I lived on the tour bus, you know, I, I like, I, I just, I, I dig my call time, you know, I like, I, it just a part of me, you know, and I get an itch after in between movies, it's like, you know, I, you, you want to be back on set, you just want the environment, you know, even back in the day when I was a kid, I just hung out with the hair and makeup crew, or just, you know, took a golf cart somewhere I wasn't supposed to. Catering, you know, just yeah. kid Nothing shit. Nothing like that. Yeah, kid shit, man. Like, now that I'm older, I still got that in me, you know, to just fuck with people on set. But it's like, it's it's, it's a part of me that I, I know drives me as far as work. It makes me love what I do. And they say, if you love it, it's not really work. All right, folks, there you have it. Just got done doing another Zilla movie party for the movie Long Shot. O'Shea Jackson Jr. stopped by. We had a bunch of influences, a bunch of cool kids. And you got to see what happens when I come to New York, come home and show my friends a good movie, a good time. That's what I do with your boy Zilla Valentine. See you next week. Peace. As I'm making this video and I'm walking down the street, I get stopped by a guy who said he was a huge fan of mine. Shout out to my guy, VZ. VZ, the audio was out on our thing, so I couldn't really tell people about what you had going on. VZ's a dope a &R who's actually doing some um, marketing work over at Fuse. So I stopped out to VZ, bumped into another homeboy of mine. We go way back, he said he'd been following me for the past 10 years, which was just mind blowing. Then I stopped the fight me stopping a fight this truck driver was really really upset that someone was uh talking to him sideways so i got the guy to apologize 
and his boss or one of the bosses was trying to get him trying to get me to butt out which i probably should have i probably never should have interjected myself but the guy did move the truck pretty good and i just told him that life is going to open up doors for you don't go to jail this is going to be used to make you into a better person and that's the vibe I'm on all week. Everything that happens to me is only happening to me to make me better. I believe the same for you. We had a wonderful interview, sit down interview with O'Shea Jackson. That was dope. And now I'm heading home back to Atlanta, getting out of rainy, cold New York City and home, Atlanta, which, but I'm home now in Jersey. Crazy stuff. Aren't you so good? Godzilla! Yes. Zilla bitch.